Hey everyone, it's Tyler Schreck at Universal Rackets, and today we are going to go over a huge tip that will develop your game at any age or any level. I recently, in the past two weeks, I took my first tennis clinic with my four-year-old daughter. It's a parent-child clinic. We went out, and this coach told me the best tip, and I'm sharing this with you. It works for any level and any age, okay? What we first did during the warm-up, he's like, okay, you and your child go out and toss the ball to each other. Here's a Chilean voice. I don't know how to imitate a Chilean voice, so I am not doing so. But so my daughter and I were tossing the ball. Of course she can catch. She's related to me. And we're tossing the ball back and forth. I'm like, wow, what am I doing? I'm a tennis coach. This guy's just having us toss the ball. And he comes to me. He has no clue I'm a tennis coach. He goes, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is not right. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, have her come to the ball. And what do you mean? I was like, what do you mean? He's like, when you toss it, instead of having your child just wait here, what you're going to do is say you toss the ball to me, I am going to go up to the ball. Again, when you toss this ball to me, I'm not going to let the ball come to me. I am going to have my daughter go up to the ball, encourage her to move up to the ball. This is before she has even hit a ball. This is for beginner kids who've never played tennis before, but it can be used to an advanced level as well. What do you need to do? You need to go to the ball. You can't let the ball come to you. If you can go to the ball and you don't let the ball come to you, it's going to help you, number one, be able to play better tennis, and number two, be able to be more aggressive, not get jammed, not get pushed back, be on a more offensive position. Now, let's be very basic, okay? In tennis, you have one stroke, and if you don't have one stroke, you need to have one stroke. You need to have one forehand, one backhand. A lot of players, what they do is the ball's at different points, right? And they'll swing like this, they'll swing like this, they'll swing like this, they'll swing like this. No, I have one forehand. Here's my forehand and here's my contact. So what does that mean? If the ball's high, what do I need to do? I need to move back, okay? That's when I don't go to the ball. But if the ball's over here, over here, over here, instead of changing my swing, watch, if the ball's over here, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to move up to it so I can get into the proper position. So a lot of players, they change up their swings because they don't get to the ball. The ball's all the way up here, right? So what do they do? They go like this, or they slice it, or they, they don't slice it, but they go like this, right? Instead, watch, instead of doing that and just lunging out for the ball, doing a different swing, what am I doing? I am going to the ball so I can get the ball in the co proper contact point. Same thing for the backhand. So if the backhand's up here, I'm not gonna wait for it. I am going to go up to the ball so I can get it into the proper contact. Now, for spin, okay? A lot of spin, players hit slice, they hit top spin, they hit all these different spins, right? If you can go up to the ball, you're not going to give the ball the time to react and create or do whatever spin it's going to do. A ball that hits slice, right? If you swing your opponent, see your opponent swing to the left, the ball's gonna go right. If you see your opponent swing to the right, the ball's going to go left. That ball's going to hit and it's going to break. It's going to hit and it's going to break. So a lot of players, they don't go to the ball, they let the ball come to them, so their opponent hits a slice to them, they're waiting here for the ball, they're being passive, and what happens? What happens? Then, ah, oh, I couldn't hit, such good slice, too good, I couldn't get the ball. But how do we stop that? Instead of waiting for the ball, I'm going to the ball. I'm not letting the ball come to me. I'm going to the ball. Here's the ball up here. What am I doing? I'm moving up to it. So before the ball can curve to the right or to the left, I already moved up to it. I intercepted it before the ball can go to the right or the left. It also works for topspin. You can intercept the ball before it kicks up at you, okay? So by going to the ball, that's also going to what? It is going to help you against spins, okay? It's also going to get your contact out in front. A lot of players, they have trouble with their shots they get jammed every single time because what each player what they do is they let the ball come to them okay so the ball bounces here we are i'm waiting for the ball and oh, i got super jammed i don't have a good forehand i suck i need to play pickleball instead of quitting and going to go play pickleball what you're going to do is the ball is going to come right instead of waiting and getting jammed up here you're going to move up to it so you're never going to get jammed again think if you ever feel like you get jammed that's because you're hitting the ball late so how do we hit the ball earlier you move up to the ball okay so if you can move up to the ball you're not only going to be able to hit a decent shot you're not only going to be able to deal with different spins you're going to what you're going to be able to never get jammed again and get that proper contact the last thing okay and this is a huge one players they're like oh my god i'm over the age of 30 40 50 60 70 80 85 shout out to my favorite tennis student ever ruth Ruth is 85 year old, years old. She trains as hard as possible, and I love working with her. I told Ruth this tip, okay? Ruth can't really get to that many balls, right? She sounds and she looks 
like she's like 25, right? She is a beautiful lady, but Ruth is 85 years old. So Ruth, the ball comes and sometimes she can't get to it, right? Because she can't move as fast as she used to. But what did I tell her? What did I tell her to get to twice as many balls? She thought, oh my gosh, she's 50 years younger. Why? Because she has this one mentality. Instead of letting the ball come to me, here we are, I am going up to the ball. If you can think this one thing, regardless if you're an 85 year old, if you're 100 years old, if you are two years old, you're going to be able to get to way more balls because you're going to have that mentality that you're going up to. You're going to get to way more balls than you ever have before. It's not that you're too old, you're not fit. It's because you don't have the right mentality for half of the balls that you cannot get to. So remember the number one tip that my daughter learned in her first ever tennis clinic, which was so much fun by the way, is what? Do not let the ball come to you, you go to the ball. And again, a great drill to do is get your friend or even toss the ball to a wall and instead of letting the ball come back to you, you're going up to the ball. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I just hit 20,000 subscribers. Make sure to click the link in the description, subscribe to me, check out my eBooks, interactive eBooks, put them on sale for the rest of the summer. And make sure to follow me on Instagram, Tennis with Tyler. Have a good one, happy hitting, and I'll see you guys next time on court.